this is the patella, it seems to be fine the trochlea of the femur seems to be fine as well we move to the medial compartment of the knee you can see there is a loose body we go through the medial portal we just inspect the medial joint using the shaver I clear some of the fat pad and they go into the medial joint give me valgus please clear the loose bodies which is usually fibrinous clot medial meniscus seems to be intact these are the ACL fibers you can see that they are torn figure 4 then we move to the lateral compartment using the figure 4 push some fluid please and the lateral meniscus is clear as well okay back to working position this is a torn ACL clearly as you can see the fat pad usually is in the way so I try to clear some of it but I preserve the ACL stump I clear the fat around the footprint of the ACL it's very important in my opinion especially for the landmark for the ACL graft okay now we have good picture okay as you can see it's very clear that the ACL is ruptured and it's an acute rupture okay then we swap the position of the scope and we ask for x-ray to come in I use image intensify in my ACL reconstruction especially that's readily available in the hospitals that I work at and it's much safer to perform it under image intensifier guidance I insert the femoral jig I do an x-ray in the AP position through a stab incision I make the entry portal for the flip cutter on the femoral side okay x-ray everybody x-ray save this one that's perfect I'm happy with this position okay now give me lateral I need some more gloves please come on in please and up with the machine x-ray now this is a perfect position of the ACL I'm happy with that that looks very good that's exactly where we would like the ACL graph to be I now drill the flip cutter in inward x-ray save this one yep I'm through the condyle and then pull the flip cutter out I make sure that it flips and clear the debris just to be safe once I'm in x-ray pull the trocar take the guide off for temporarily then put the trocar in again I make sure that the flip cutter is flipped x-ray it is flipped and then I do a full circle with my hand I mark the area where the flip cutter sits on the femur and then I go back x-ray by two centimeters that's exactly where we want it to end as you can see the tunnel is not very long and that's to preserve as much tissue as possible and then we unflip the cutter we insert the guide again we finished with drilling the flip cutter on the femur side and then we pass the wire through the femur x-ray using special wire x-ray save this one and then we take the jig out and the jig has x-ray save this one the jig has cannulated end and we make sure that the wire pass through the jig and as you can see I retrieve the jig with the wire through the lateral portal x-ray now we swap the camera again and we proceed to the tibial component as you can see the footprint of the tibial jig is sitting on the ACL stump okay yep go you can see the flip cutter is coming out through the footprint okay and keep coming out okay so we take the guide of the flip cutter we make sure that the flip cutter doesn't take the wire with it and doesn't damage the footprint of the ACL Okay, and then the next step is we use the flip cutter on the tibia
X-ray. And then we unflip the flip cutter again. Then we retrieve the flip cutter out.